Welcome back to Inside the U.S. Open, presented by Mercedes-Benz. As the new year begins, the Grand Slam journey gets underway. From nail-biting finishes to record-breaking victories, there's never a shortage of drama, suspense, and excitement. Let's travel back to the beginning of this year and relive some of the greatest moments of 2013. I think I always have to go through one marathon epic match in, in Australian Open in order to get the title. Then in the end, I've managed to perform my best in the later stages of the event when I played uh, against top players like Ferrer and, and Murray and uh, managed to win the, the, the fourth Australian Open title. It's, uh, it's been by far my most successful uh, Grand Slam tournament and the one that I enjoy very much playing. I think the Australian is just, you know, the happy slam. and It's so relaxed and it's so different from everywhere else. And so, you know, I think it's definitely um, most players' favourite tournament. I thought the biggest surprise for me this year was Sloan beating Serena. Australian Open was a crazy experience for me and I never expected to do that well or, you know, have all those great things happen, but it's something that just kind of just went with the flow and I was excited to just do well and have so much fun and I was just hanging out and just living the life, really. It's a tournament really where I had the start of my breakthrough, so it's a tournament that's very and endearing to me and it's a tough situation to be in playing Roger and uh, everybody knows what he can do. It's about just really, I'm happy that I put myself in those situations to have those opportunities to get better and then try to be better for the next time that happens. We came into the Australian with a lot of confidence and uh, won that Grand Slam which uh, actually we broke the record for the most Grand Slams by a team. We broke uh, a famous team of Newcomb and Roach and that was our 13th slam. I think the French Open was pretty intense. A lot of surprises, a lot of early round surprises of some of the girls, but I think overall a Serena Sharapova final is what everyone was expecting and that's what they got. I thought Serena played so, so well um, the whole tournament and you could tell she had so much confidence going into the final and I remember watching the first couple of games thinking this is just the most intense match I've ever seen. You know, people were screaming come on after the first point. It was kind of 50-50 going into that match for me. There's always a different aspect when you're playing a defending champion, especially in Roland Garros. I felt a little bit of me felt like I didn't have anything to lose and of course a little bit of me felt like I should be able to win this match. I think it, it just shows you know, how, how good Serena is on any surface, and uh, she hadn't won the French in a while, I think, so I think it was a really big one for her, but you know, she's, she's dominating so much. You know, she's one of the greatest players ever, and she just proved that by winning again on the clay. We won the French uh, 10 years after we won our first Grand Slam. It was 2003 is where it kind of all started for us, and to win that again was awesome. At the French Open, I think it wasn't too many upsets or really surprises. Nadal's been so incredibly amazing at the Rolling Garros, especially. I'm speechless when I talk about all he can accomplish at Rolling Garros, and that's, I think that sums it up. He's just an amazing athlete. This year, Wimbledon was very, I would say, up and down and a lot of interesting matches. The Wednesday of Wimbledon this year was very, it was crazy, you know, so many was slipping and falling, including me. Yeah, the wacky Wimbledon, right? Wacky Wednesday. On the scoreboard, we're just watching all these people pull out of the tournament, and we're like, wow, what's going on? I don't know what's going on, it was pretty crazy. Wednesday, where there was about eight withdrawals, and, you know, Sharapova lost, and Azarenka withdrew, and then all the guys started going out, Federer. When a tournament draw opens up like it did at Wimbledon, you have to be able to focus and uh, be able to stay focused no matter what happens. And, you know, I don't think I did it that well this year, but I think uh, Miriam Bartoli obviously did. She played so well, and she was focused, as she always is, from the first round to the last. Winning Wimbledon for the third time, our 15th slam, and um, kind of completed a Brian slam, because we'd won the US Open the year before. Four in a row with the gold medal, um, Brian Golden Slam. Back in 2011, managed to win the title there and uh, achieve my childhood dreams. This year, I played finals. You know, I was very glad to be in the finals once again. And uh, there, I lost to uh, to a better player. Uh, no question about it. I congratulated him because he just uh, came up with uh, with an A game when he needed to, and um, it was a historical win for him and for for all the country. 
It was the best experience I've obviously had as a tennis player. I played a lot of matches at Wimbledon on the centre court, but um, you know the Olympics final was a similar atmosphere to the Wimbledon final this year, and it just gave me a big lift. They helped a lot. It's not often like that on the centre court at Wimbledon. And yeah, I obviously played uh, played better tennis because of it, and hope it's like that again next year. It's very hard to predict what's going to happen. Um, so I, I try always to, to stay in the present moment and, and focus on the tournaments that come before US Open and then you know, coming into New York obviously will be a, another huge task. My approach, I think, is, is like every year, I just want to take one match at a time and you know, try and progress into the tournament like that. But at the same time, you know, it's a tournament that I just love to play and I feel very comfortable. So hopefully, you know, I can do really well this year. Oh, it's, uh, it's tough, you know, uh, to say something, uh, as you can see this year. Uh, for sure, uh, Novak and Andy are really, really strong this year, especially, and Rafa too, he came back. Uh, it's going to be interesting, uh, US Open. I hope really for myself, I think I'm a better player than I was in 2012 and 2010 when I played. So that opens up a lot of opportunities for great memories to be created there for me. Just getting to New York for me is the most exciting. It's the last Grand Slam of the year. It's the uh, US Open. Yeah, it's being an American and playing on home soil. I just want to go there and try my best, of course, sometimes can happen, sometimes no, you win, you lose, this is tennis, but uh, if you go on the court and you try to, to make your best, it's uh, the most important thing. I'm going to be pushing him on court, he's going to make sure I, I don't slack off, and uh, we still have some good tennis left in us. If we win that, it's, it's a calendar year Grand Slam, which would be uh, something amazing uh, for us, but I think we've just been playing loose and happy, and uh, we could really do something special at the Open. I've never been to a Grand Slam before as a defending champion, so I don't know exactly how I'll respond to that, but I'll do the best I can to prepare for it and, and give myself the best chance. I'm gonna enjoy watching Roger. <laughs> I'm his biggest fan, I love watching him, and uh, you know, I, think, I still think he has another slam in him, so I'm hoping it's at this year's US Open. Coming up, I'll chat with some of America's budding stars and explore if they have what it takes to handle the intensity of the spotlight. Jack, you're only 20 years of age, but when you Google your name, there are thousands of hits that mention you in relation to the future of American tennis. How much pressure is that? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's brought up, I think, a good amount, um, not only for me, but a lot of the younger uh, American guys as well. And we're working to do, is, do the best we can towards bringing a bunch of Americans back towards the top, and so, uh, I think we're all working to do that, and, and, and I think we can. 